Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises, glory, and honor to to Yahweh, Mahashem, Yahweh Shah, Mahashem, Wakar Kadash. Double honors to the elders, apostles, great millstone, preaching his word truthfully and sincerely. Shalom to the Akim scattered to the four corners of the globe, preaching his word truthfully and sincerely. And uh, Shalom to the Akim. That be like unto the speckled bird, preaching his word truthfully and sincerely. And shout out to the eye camp scattered through the four corners of the globe, pushing the word truth and necessarily. And I say uh, shout out to the eye camp out there. And this is another sit down lesson on this uh, February the 13th, 2022, on this uh, Sunday night. Ouch. It's a lot. Boy, got another news article right here. And this is from uh, English.aawsat.com. And the highlight of this news article in the reads, Pentagon, Iran's ballistic missiles de designed for offense purpose. Offense proposed, proposes. Uh, it says a few hours after Iran unveiled, unveiled a long range missile, United States Pentagon Press Secretary John Kirby said it's a ballistic missile program is designed for offensive purpose purposes. The Iranians are advancing a ballistic missile program that is designed for an offense purposes to inflict harm and damage potentially lethal so other states and other peoples and our allies and partners he told a uh, press briefing on Wednesday Kirby Dim their line activities as much more than a message to the United States of Israel. As the heels of the new round negotiations in Vienna, Austria, they are destabilizing in the region. They are supporting terrorist groups, according to the uh, region. They are harassing, murdering, shifting, he stressed. Iran reveals a new ballistical. Domestic, I meant to say, Iran unveiled a new domestically made missile with a range of 1,450 kilometers on Wednesday. It says a TV, I mean, a state TV report a day after Taiwan and Washington resumed indirect talks of a savage, savage of a 2015 nuclear deal. And it says the missiles has high accuracy in manufacturing completely domestically and defeat missiles shield systems according to the Revolutionary Guard Missile Unit. Uh, John Kirby told reporters the U.S. has continually watched as Iran has improved their ballistic missiles program, adding that they are neatly aware of the regional threats that ballistic missile program poses which is why we are working so hard with allies and partners in the region to be able to counter those kinds of threats and to make sure that we are contributing to their self-defense and needs as well he added the iran development and prolif proliferation Um, of ballistic missiles poses a threat to the international security and remains a significant non-proliferation challenge, says Deputy Spokesperson of the Department of State, uh, Jalen Porter. It says, we continue to use various It says we continue to uh, use a vary of non-proliferating tools to prevent a further advancement of Iran's missiles program, and it's able to proliferate technology to others," she said. A press v uh, press briefing. I meant to say. So yeah, you know. Um, at the United States, uh, after the uh, Iran unveiled its uh, nuclear missile, 
a new design nuclear missile can range from uh, 1,450 kilometers, you know, and they saying the um, United States potentially is working hard with this other allies in the region, you know, to uh, stop North Korea, I mean, not North Korea, to stop Iran with their nuclear capability. Even though they had uh, some dis uh, discussions of the revival of the 2015 nuclear deal, you know. But, you know, even like I mentioned before in my previous videos, you know, that's not going to stop. Even if they come with the lifting of the sanctions, you know, unfreezing the sanctions of the hard ex ex economic sanctions that the United States and its allies did to Iran. So can they can get back into the Soviet, the Soviets of the 2015 revival of the nuclear deal, you know, showing progressions of that, you know, but still, you know, during that time when they've been having discussions about this or a possible upcoming discussions of that after the United States unfreeze the uh, three billion dollars of uh, of uh, economic sanctions of Iran, you know. But still, you know, Iran is going to continue to enrich their nuclear capabilities. You know, they're going to continue to test their uh, nuclear missile launch tests. And they're going to develop long-range hyper-ballistic sonic missiles. You know, they're going to continue to do that, you know. In these uh, last days, you know. And I'm gonna uh, probably bring out a scripture for that. This is a. Uh, this is the book of Joel, chapter three, verse ten. Be shall plow sheds and the swords and the pony hooks, that the weak say I'm strong. Right, you know, the weak are saying that I'm strong. You know, these other nations, just like similar to. Iran and North Korea, you know, you know, it's on that military might and strength. Yeah, you know, it's the same simulation, similarities with North Korea and uh, Iran, you know, with their nuclear capabilities, even if, you know, you're trying to have discussions with them, you know, they still gonna, um, even if the United States have discussions with North Korea and Iran, you know, those are two similar examples of two countries of uh, continuing to build their nuclear military arsenal, you know, with the, just like North Korea with their hypersonic ballistic missile testings, and along with the ICBM nuclear missile, missile testings as well, too. So, you know, it goes back into the book of Joel 3, verse 10. Let the weak say, I am strong. And it's another scripture for that mentions the Iran, you know, as well, too, you know. They're going to, uh, you know, they're going to be strong in these last days. And they're going to continue to uh, do their nuclear capabilities, you know. And they're going to continue to enrich and develop nuclear capabilities as well, too, you know. Just like the Revolutionary Guard uh, made that announcement of they got more uh, more missiles and more missile capabilities for for a long range to reach further distance, you know. That's why they're going to continue to create and develop and enrich more nuclear arsenal capability to their arsenal, you know, in the current days that we are living in, you know. And, you know, let the weak say I'm strong and these nations starting to show their strength. You know, China, Russia, Iran, North Korea, especially North Korea and Iran with their nuclear uh, capabilities. You know, just like the United States talked to these two different nations, you know, with Iran and North Korea. Even if they put all these uh, hard economic sanctions you put on them throughout these years. Now you're starting to finally lift them up because y'all are very uh, cautious about what they can be able capable to, of doing, you know, against you and your allies as well, too, you know, 
even if y'all do come to some progression or show some progressions or trying to fa- find ways of solutions, trying to de-escalate the, uh, the nuclear programs of these nations, you know, even if y'all find, try y'all best to find solutions of that along with your, with your allies, the United States, you know, you can't stop North Korea and Iran because they're going to still continue to be able to create their nuclear capability arsenal, you know. And so with that, you know, I just want to bring out this uh, lesson right here, you know, uh, this article that I just brought out, you know, about the Pentagon saying Iran's ballistic missiles designed for offensive purposes, you know, so uh, hey, they going to continue to do that, you know, just like Iran and North Korea, same similarities, you know, and they're going to cre- continue to create their nuclear military uh, ballistic, hypersonic ballistic missiles testing, you know, and they're going to create, continue to create and develop these things, you know, in a lot of days that we are living in, you know, and it's not much the United States or its allies must can do. Yeah, they might hit them with more hard economic sanctions and more other options to stop them from uh, creating, uh, hypersonic nuclear missiles and testing them and creating more, you know, they're going to try to try their best to find ways to uh, to stop it and disconnect to destabilize it but, you know they're not going to be able to fully stop them from doing that, you know with their nuclear capability uh, arsenal, you know with North Korea uh, tested a first ever ICBM nuclear missile since 2017, you know. Now they starting to revive and do that back again, you know. Just like along with uh, Iran, you know. They're going to continue to, uh, to create and develop more nuclear missile arsenal, you know. Just like they, uh, uh, yeah, they revealed the, uh, the nuclear warhead. You know, North Korea, I mean, uh, Iran revealed, revealed, you know, a few days ago, you know, which was on Wednesday, as, you know, Pentagon John Kirby uh, announced that, you know, you know, and they, and the, and the United States and his allies, they kind of cautious about that, you know, how much nuclear strength and capability Iran and North Korea can be, you know, and they're going to be allies as well, too. You know, just like China, Russia, Iran, and North Korea, they're going to be allies, you know. It might not be very soon, but it's getting to the point showing signs of that, of them being allies, you know. And so with that, you know, I hope this was uh, edifying to the spirit, power, grace, and mercy of Yahweh, Yahweh, and uh, first and foremost, I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor to, to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rakar Kadash. Double honors to the elders, apostles, great millstone, preaching his word truthfully and sincerely. Shout out to the Akim, scattered through the four corners of the globe, preaching his word truthfully and sincerely. And shout out to the Akim, that be like unto the speckled bird, preaching his word truthfully, faithfully, strongly and sincerely. And until next time, I will say, Shalom.